Hi everyone and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid, I'm the founder of the Paperless Movement and today I want to talk about GoodNotes. GoodNotes is one of my favorite note-taking apps on the iPad when it comes to handwriting and using digital planners. Many of you love GoodNotes for this reason as well. There are other tools like Notability and NoteShelf that I recommend when using digital planners. However, GoodNotes still has a big issue when it comes to digital planning. And it's really surprising that they still didn't fix it after such a long time, people using it for digital planners. What this is, we will find out in this episode. Okay, let me just switch to my overview. And uh, we are here in GoodNotes. I opened up my digital planner. So if you don't know uh, what a digital planner is, it actually allows you to jump to different pages quickly. But you can see it's not working. So GoodNotes is supposed to work with digital planners and you can buy loads of different digital planners. People write to me, it's not working, that when they import my digital planner, they can't click the links. They have to scroll manually through the whole thing. And it makes no sense for more than 400 pages, isn't it? So what you have to do is go top, top right and there's a button that you have to push and then you can navigate. And then you have to push again this button or tap onto it and then you can start writing on this page and i just don't get it why why good notes why are you not working on a better solution like this all the other apps are like notability and notion of they are able to provide this feature that you write and you tap with your apple pencil on this on the side let me just demonstrate let's open more notability and now we have here one of my planners and look what I can do. I just simply tap onto one of these months. I can tap here. I jump around. You see it on the bottom right corner that I'm only using my Apple Pencil to actually navigate through this. Here I can just tap on the year view. I can go to the weekly view and all this. And then I can, whenever I want, start to write. And this is the same in NoteShelf. Why are you not able to provide this as well, Good Notes? Because everybody sees it when I'm writing here. And now I want to navigate. I'm, you know, you see, it's not working. I have to reach out on top right. I mean, it's completely opposite direction than we usually write. Tap there and then I'll go over there in order to navigate. See, now it's working also with my Apple Pencil. And then I want, in order to write again, I go up there again, switch and start writing. And this is actually the reason why a lot of people stopped using the digital planner or switched from GoodNotes to Notability and NoteShelf. So I just thought that uh, I will create this video to actually, first of all, make GoodNotes aware of this issue. I, I wonder that I don't know yet. Maybe they're aware and it's too hard to get rid of it. I don't know. But on the other hand, to send this video also to all the questions about I get why is my digital planner not working in GoodNotes? If you're actually interested in getting one of these planners, then make sure that you go to the description below. I will put a link there where you can generate your very own digital planner with your own set of dates. When, when, the, when the week should start, Monday, Sunday, you can use your own styling, portrait, landscape and so on. Just make sure you go there. You will find all the information for this. But I think it was important to put out this video to hopefully get some response why it makes sense that it's there. It makes no sense in my opinion and maybe move something. If you don't want to miss any updates, maybe the update that GoodNotes improved uh, navigation and PDF, make sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you up next time.